This episode is brought to you by American Electric Power. Hey, Explorers, welcome back to another exciting episode of Get Schooled. I'm Miss Danielle, and today we're going to be taking a deep dive into the world of hydroelectricity. Have you ever found yourself splashing around in a creek or watching as the stream flowed by? Imagine all that energy, all that power being used to light up homes and businesses in your neighborhood. That's exactly what we're going to be looking at today at the Smith Mountain Lake Dam. Before we join Daniel James at the hydroelectric dam, let's think about something that we all know about, water. Water can be used to play, to clean, to drink, and now we're gonna learn about how it can be used to make hydroelectricity for our communities to use. Are you ready for an adventure? Hey Daniel, we were just talking about you. Hi Explorers, welcome back to another episode of Get Schooled. I'm Daniel James, and today you'd think we're gonna learn about wind power, but we're actually learning about water power and how this dam, the Smith Mountain Dam, which looks like a giant water slide, actually helps make our planet a little bit healthier. And we're gonna learn more about how we use that water power to magically light up our homes in the neighborhood. And I have a friend here who's gonna explain a lot more about it. So let's go. Hi Explorers, I'm here with my friend George. George, thanks so much for helping us explore today. Thank you for coming to Smith Mountain Dam. We're excited to show you guys how this giant water slide works. I'm really interested to learn why is water power good for our planet? Yeah, so renewable energy like hydroelectric power, it helps reduce our carbon footprint. It's a much greener and cleaner option to help reduce air pollution. That's awesome. So is there somewhere we can learn about the process, like how all this works, how we go from water to lighting our homes? It sure is. Let's go over to the visitor center and we can show you guys. Awesome, thank you. Uh -huh. So the first thing we have to look at is the resources. For us, it's Roanoke River that provides water into the Smith Mountain Lake that helps us produce the power here. Okay, so this is all part of the water cycle, so that's what makes it renewable. The water falls into the river and into the lake, and that's what comes to the dam. Exactly. So we use Smith Mountain Lake as our main source of power, and the most important thing about Smith Mountain Lake is that it's all man-made. So this is something I can do in my backyard? I can make my own dam? Don't know about that, but we can show you how it works. We have models. That would be perfect. So we're going to learn how it goes from being water into lighting homes. Exactly. Okay, so can you tell me, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so this is a model of the Smith Mountain Project. So essentially what happens is water starts in the Smith Mountain Lake, comes down through our pin stock, goes through our turbine, and that's where power is generated. Then the water goes into Leesville Lake. So this right here, that's where power is being generated because that's spinning around and creating electricity. Yes, that is the main source right there. So when do we get to use the giant water slide? Again, not a water slide, it's called a spillway, and it helps us prevent flood control downstream. Okay, so mm -hmm. how much power does this model actually generate? This model itself doesn't no, I, generate the, any power, the dam, but you get it, 25,000 homes. Is there anything else exciting that we should know about this? I can't believe I haven't told you this. This is a pump storage dam, which essentially means that the water from Leesville pumps back into Smith Mountain, and we can reuse that same water to generate more electricity. Wait, 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 so we're harnessing not only the water coming down from the water cycle and putting it through the dam, but you can actually pull water back up and use it again? Use it again and again and again. That sounds super renewable. Yes, sure is. All right, well, can we learn more about actually seeing how that turbine works? Let's go down to the dam. Oh. We can show you up close and personal. Thank you, okay. <laughs>
So okay. are we actually, this is inside the dam now? Yeah, we're inside the dam and we're standing in front of one of the five generating turbine units here. And all five of our units can actually generate power. So how much water actually comes through one of these? Every second is about 46,000 cubic feet of water that goes out of our dam. Okay, so a cubic foot is about how big? It's about the size of a basketball. Okay, so that's going out every second. Every second we're generating power, yes. And then how much comes back in the one, you said three of them pull water back. Yeah, so we have five generator units, but only three of them actually pump the water back in. Okay, and then in terms of when the water's coming and going and everything else, what happens to fish and sticks and everything else? It's, it's very environmentally safe. All the fish that go through, they come in, they spin around with our turbines, and they go right out the other side. So no fish are harmed. That sounds exciting for them <laughs> and their day. Um, okay, cool. So can we take a look inside while it's running? Yeah, we sure can. Okay, thank yeah. you. <laughs> George, thank you so much for letting me and the explorers come in and check everything out and see what AEP is doing towards sustainable and renewable energies. This has been so much fun. It's our pleasure. Anytime we have an opportunity to talk about renewable energies, ways to keep our planet healthy, you know, hydro, solar, whatever, we enjoy having you guys out here. So, George, can the explorers actually come here themselves and learn about this? Yeah, we would love to have them come out anytime they want. That's awesome. So, you guys can get out here yourselves if you want to, but until next time, stay curious and keep asking questions. Bye.